This is Jack from No Code MBA. Now, today's No Code success story is called The Very Best Cookie in the Whole Wide World, which is a website created by Kirsten Shaw that came out of COVID. So today's story is a great one because it just shows somebody who wanted to do something during COVID in a very small scale and then thought, okay, maybe I have a business idea here and then scaled it. So we're gonna go through the platform that she uses, the website, how she gets clients, her product in general, and also some tips that she has about no-code tools. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and then check out the description for a playlist of other no-code success stories. Before we take a look at the platform, I really wanna highlight how this business got started. It's really interesting. So this is what Kristen says about building this company. When the pandemic hit and I found myself unemployed, I started ding-dong ditching all of my friends with chocolate chip cookies to spread a little joy around. After about a month of friends asking to buy them, I set up shop with not much expectation that it would turn into an actual business. The business was created to spread cookie love around. They're just so likable and a great gift. So this is a great story about starting during COVID and then building it into an actual business. So with that in mind, let's have a look at the platform and then we'll talk about how this platform was built and the tools that Kristen uses. So here we are on the platform. It's the very best cookie in the whole wide world.com which is a very interesting name because a lot of people say you need to keep your name short and concise. Not in this case, it actually brings about intrigue. But basically what we have is a website here, which is a lot of fun. It's all about the visuals of the cookies. And I think everything else really just lends itself to that. So we have the best sellers here where we can shop the best sellers, the OG. And um, we have some of the Details about it were small batch, you no know, preservatives, etc., customer reviews, um, and, and so on and so forth. So also we have a nice little section here about how we got started. Again, talking about the, the story and then why choose us. So we can see that this website is very well put together. It's got the good fonts and the colors to show that it's fun because it's about cookies. And then what you can do is click on the different cookies that you want and then add to cart, six pack, 12 pack, etc. So this is a, an e-commerce platform. Now the tools that Kristen used here is mainly Shopify. So the website is built on Shopify and it takes care of all the e-commerce too. The Shopify is a fantastic platform to choose. And we actually made a video talking about Shopify. So I'll leave a link to that in the description. Kristen also uses Klaviyo for her email marketing and Airtable as well. And she said, this is a very much work in progress to use Airtable at this stage. Now, in terms of costs, obviously making the cookies is the biggest cost. She mentioned that she had $1,000 in starting up the business, $300 for business insurance, and around $300 as well to get the website and everything else started. So relatively low cost to get this off the ground. But like we talked about before, she had the MVP, minimal viable product, where she sold it to her friends to know that this might actually work, that it might be a good business idea. Now we asked Kirsten, how do you attract customers? And this is what she said. I give them cookies. I haven't done any paid ads yet. So it's been a few good mentions on social and sending cookies to everyone I know. The name is also catchy, so people are curious. Got to see what the fuss is about. And I think you can see that she's put a lot of personality and just a lot of fun into building this brand and having that long name really makes you think, okay, what is this about? Is it the best cookie in the whole wide world? I want to find out. Now, she talks about the biggest challenge being that at first she was doing everything in her home kitchen. And obviously this can be very challenging, but since she's moved into a commercial kitchen, she can bake many more cookies in the same amount of time. So that's helped her to expand the business by creating more cookies in less time. Now, the last time that we asked, she said that her monthly revenue was $12,000, which is great for a cookie company like this. And obviously it's going to expand. Now, speaking of future plans, this is what she said. Only time will tell. I've been thinking about a way to fuse the direct sales with the franchise model to get other home bakers selling cookies across the country. The way this site is set up, I could do this very easily. It's more the logistics of getting the product to the bakers that poses the problem. So she's obviously got plans for the future. But there are a few things that she has to get around first. So we love this no code success story and we're excited to see how Kristen's gonna grow this business in the future. Now, if you want to learn more about this, then definitely check out our interview on the website so you can read more about how she thinks no code tools will affect entrepreneurship. And while you're on the website, get our guide to no code tools. It's free to download, send your details and we'll send it to your inbox. And if you want to take a deep dive 
into learning how to build using no-code tools, then check out our courses. I'll leave a link for you in the description so you can check that out, browse the courses and see if it's for you. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.